guys good morning welcome to a little productive monday getting my life together monday reset vlog i just planned my day out because i have a lot to do so i time blocked and then i also just made a to-do list got a nice little candle going the vibes in here are immaculate this morning sleep <laughs> let's just get some fresh air in here it's so beautiful out look at that sunshine oh, you can hear the garbage truck <laughs> I really need to get my shit together honestly it is it's been a crazy last few weeks we've had like my dad's birthday and mother's day and i'm so grateful that our family is close and we get to spend time with them but we haven't had like a day to just like get our lives together like you know when you really need groceries but you just like kind of like look really quick and just pick up like the bare essentials we did that and we need like stuff like vinegar and ketchup and our french press broke and now i have to drive to ikea today apparently and just yeah it's a chaotic day but honestly I said, Carter, get up, treat yourself to a coffee. Let's get it done. I'm going to take you guys along. I also have like laundry and just stuff to do. And yeah, it's going to be a good day. But unexpected to have to go to Ikea. Apparently the last part in our kitchen order is ready. But there was a miscommunication and it was not sent to us. It was sent to the store. So I have to drive all the way to Canada um, just to pay for it. And then schedule delivery. So it's been a day, honestly. So far, and it's only 1018, but it's fine. We're gonna make the most of it and we're gonna just get our life together today. I feel like I haven't really had any time for myself other than like a few hours of self care the other day. So I really just need today to get the house in order, get my life in order, and just have some me time. So picked myself up some Starbucks just to put a little pep in my step. I did not wanna get off the couch today because I also have a ton of YouTube to watch. I don't know about you guys, but obviously when life is busy, I just throw things in my watch later and I have so many good videos to watch. But I was like, Carter, you need to get your life together and you can watch YouTube later. So I got my like new go-to, which is just a grande nitro and a venti cup with ice. And then I just get a pump of sugar or whatever, like syrup. But I forgot to ask for a straw and all the brown sugar is at the bottom. So. I'm a little upset, but it's okay. It's still delicious. I'm just outside of HomeSense um, and Winners, which I get asked all the time. HomeSense is the equivalent to Home Goods, and Winners is the equivalent to TJ Maxx. They're owned by the same company. It's just different names in Canada. Um, but I'm in here because I need some hangers. And I also need a new French press because we, our French press broke three weeks ago. And then my mom, I might look and see if they have any kind of drawer organizers because I'll show you guys when we get home, but we reorganized the closet a little bit. And then I need groceries, but I can't get groceries if I have to drive across town. And gas prices are so dang high right now, but I have no choice because they're only holding our Ikea stuff for three days and I start my three day set of work tomorrow. So it's gonna be a busy morning, but let's go inside HomeSense, walk around, enjoy it. Um, I have a dress to return as well. I'm just gonna like take my time, enjoy it, have a little self care, not let this Ikea stuff get to me. It is all good. It's all going to sort itself out after. Let's go in. I'll take you guys with me. I don't know why the music has to be so loud in here, like, all the time. But I really like this one, except I don't like the color. So, hmm. Okay. I just need some like plain tea towels because we don't really have any. But I don't really like any of these, honestly. These are like the most plain I can find. Everything is just like a total bust today, apparently. I've been wanting these for so long, but I just like can't justify them. But look, cute little Mickey. French press. The one I was gonna get was like so tiny. And so we did a really good job. We actually got rid of like 20 plus mugs. Like we just had so many random mugs and like we would buy like dog mom and dog dad mugs and then we would like literally never use them. And I just think that when I first moved out, I was like so into like funny, cute mugs. And now I just like want plain things. So what I've been doing slowly is just like when I see stuff, is I've just been purchasing it and then putting it aside in like a Tupperware for the new house. So like I bought a new milk frother. Um, I've been buying a little bit more of like decorative books at like the thrift store or here. Anyways, point being is I got two really nice mugs today because we're gonna have a little like coffee bar and then also like a bar cart area kind of situation. You'll see when you guys see the kitchen. And I just wanted to have like some nice mugs. I really hope I can find two more so I can have a set of four and I can hang them. 
but they're really really beautiful I'm just like really into plain things now there are these beautiful white mugs but they have just this like really nice texture I don't know if you guys can tell I can't tell if it's focusing yet it is and I just thought they were really really beautiful so I got two of these they were like I don't know $5.99 and I just am more into like this stuff now than maybe like a pink mug that says dog mom all over it you know what i mean so anyways that's that and then um i think i'm gonna go to the marshall's and the indigo next door try and get a french press there and then i'm going to drive to ikea and then on the way home stop at like a walmart and get groceries i think that's gonna be my plan because i have to go to ikea and get this over with and this is just life it's putting a dent in my day but this is just life honestly and yeah so i'm really happy with the mugs i hope it makes sense what i'm trying to say just like i kind of feel like i have a bit more neutral style now and i'm like kind of really excited to decorate and i'm glad i'm buying stuff in small chunks and like you know when you first move out or you buy a house or anything you get so excited and you get like overwhelmed and you just buy all this stuff and decorate and so it's been nice to do things slowly and that's like always my biggest tip to people and i'm excited to actually put together like the kitchen of my dreams now because when we first moved in obviously we are so grateful that we bought a house in the market that we did but our kitchen if you guys know has like very 80s it's got like flower tile and it's like yellow countertop so we were really able to decorate it or make it what we wanted right because every time we would it would look really stupid because we have like a yellow and wood kitchen so i'm just really excited to start decorating it how we want and yeah but let's head over to marshall's i have a book order to pick up at indigo and i hope to the lords they have book lovers because i have not been able to find book lovers anywhere and amazon canceled my order and i'm really upset and I checked and it was on sale at Indigo, so I'm really hoping they have it because I'm finally getting out of my book slump. And yeah, so let's go to Marshall's super quick, see if we can get a French press, and then we'll head to Ikea. I guess I should maybe ask Matt if we need anything at Ikea, but I don't think so. But anyways, let's go. Look how cute this is. Coffee for tired people. All that? A major success also my hair is getting so long but i got one and it's white they had the same one in black and white this is the brand we usually have the bottom and ours lasted like two years but i randomly went to scoop the beans out and the glass broke so not sure what that was about if it was just like old but i just like really liked this color we could leave it out in the kitchen once the kitchen's done i just thought it was kind of nice and cream and then i got my two book orders at indigo the first I finally got it. I'm so excited now that I'm out of my book slump. I'm like literally stoked for this. So I'm really excited. I thought Beach Read and People We Met on Vacation were like cute rom-coms. I didn't think they were like amazing favorite book of all time. Um, but I am really excited about this. So super pumped. And then this book, I don't really know. I saw this on TikTok. Okay, never seen a single soul talk about it. But the like... I feel like this is an enemies to lovers situation, but I'm really excited about it and it's not very big, which is great because your girl, like I said, was in a slump. So like for size reference, it's really small compared to book lovers. So really excited about that. I was like, okay, you have to drive to Ikea, go pick up your books, go make yourself happy. I'm super excited about these. So now we're gonna drive to Ikea. I also wasn't planning on being out for that long so I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm kind of hungry. So that's that, but let's go to Ikea. I don't think we're gonna walk around now. Like I've just been to Ikea so much in the last two months that, like I just don't have a desire to walk around and get anything. But let's go to Ikea and get this like all sorted. Hopefully it's all figured out and let's have a little adventure. To stop and get something to eat. I was literally like I haven't eaten and it's like one o'clock. So I went to Bridgehead which is a coffee shop and I just got one of their um their breakfast burritos. It's just like egg, cheese, sausage, and tomato jam. I'm gonna let it cool, but I'm gonna have that. And still traffic at 1 p.m. Like why? This like day that I had planned to be so productive and fun is just like not really going my way. And this is life. And I'm gonna keep vlogging because this is like I said, this is life, but man, I'm just a little annoyed. I'm eating my breakfast, I'm hangry, I was at IKEA way too long. And now I'm in traffic and like all I want to do is go home and sit in my backyard and read but I still have to do groceries and I'm just a little annoyed if I'm being quite honest with you guys which is totally fine I think it's valid but just not every day goes to plan you know c'est la vie I also am so thirsty and I did not bring a water bottle with me and I still have coffee to finish so I'm really just living it up I'm happy I took Stella to the dog park this morning though because it's obviously really warm now but I just want to be home like I really don't even want to get groceries but we just need so much stuff that I have to and like we did groceries the other day at Costco but like Costco groceries and regular groceries are really different you know we need small stuff like I don't have ketchup I put ketchup on everything I need ketchup right now 
Um, that's my update. My phone's about to die and I don't have a car charger. So it's just, it's, it's not my day today. Okay. Okay. We're finally home and I'm going to turn this day around because even the groceries, like half the stuff I needed, they did not have. So today's just not going my way, but I'm convinced we can turn the day around even though it's 2 PM. So little haul. I also got toilet paper and hangers, but I'm not going to show you guys that. It's boring. Um, I got cheese. So I just got whatever was on sale. This Balderson one. I got a Monterey Jack spicy one for Matt and a cheddar for me and a brie. And then we are out of espresso pods and I've been wanting to try the Starbucks ones and they actually had them at Walmart. So I got these and then we didn't have any pickles. So I got these. So I got, these are the best pickles, tomatoes, bananas, broccoli. I'm going to try to make some kind of broccoli salad, white vinegar. I was out of collagen and this was on sale. It's the brand I use. Chocolate chips, just some like um, garlic blend. And then I saw this girl on TikTok make these like rice cake s'mores and they looked so yummy. So I picked up some caramel chocolate chip rice cakes and they were like three for four. So I got sweet chili and crunchy dill. They only had one milk. So I got one. It's our 18 gram protein milk. Didn't have sugar-free ketchup. I just prefer that taste because it tastes more like tangy opposed to like I find this stuff sweet. Then I got this like limited edition kombucha. I don't even know what the flavor is. What is it? Elderberry jasmine violet. Interesting. I got a bunch of protein coffees which they sell at Walmart now and they're a dollar cheaper than Loblaws. And then just some buns for Chicken Burger Wednesday. So really random but like all things we needed. And then I also just picked up Coke and a Diet Dr. Pepper. So we're gonna do a big replenish of the fridge. I did a bunch of dishes earlier that I have to put away. I also have to put away all these mason jars that I wash. Like it is straight chaos in this house right now. I'm just being super real with you guys. Um, honestly, Walmart's been killing it. I also picked up this dress. I hope it fits, but if not, I can return it because it was like $19. And it's really nice material. It's like this really pretty color. I've been so into dresses lately and it has a pretty like little cap sleeve and it's kind of like tight here. And then the bottom has a little ruffle. I don't know, I thought it'd be cute. Maybe we can try it on after. Well, I was gone. I got a package from Aerie because Everyone and their mom has like a shacket style jean shirt. Kind of reminds me of something like my mom would have worn like back when. What size did I get this in? A large. Um, I'm really, oh, this is so cute. Okay, yeah, this is such a vibe. I'll link it down below. I think I got it on sale. This is so cute. A little bit lighter than a jean jacket, which is like nice for like a spring day like today. Really love this. Let's put all the groceries away and then we're going to clean up this situation and we're going to get our life together because my life is chaotic and cranky right now, to be quite honest. kitchen is clean hooray okay so here is the updated closet so before i had just like all of my clothes in here but it, matt was like it kind of looks a little chaotic and i was like yeah i kind of agree with you well that's a lie i did put up a fight first and refused to move my stuff and i'm just being honest with you guys like you argue and fight in relationships and don't agree on stuff and then i he was right but the only thing is i just don't know if it looks nice that my sports bras are there because i have these two drawers that are empty I've got my leggings there. I've got my shorts here. So I'm thinking of putting my shorts in one of these drawers just so that that's not like cluttered. But I don't really know because I have more sports bras, obviously. Do I put the sports bras in the drawer and just have like my workout shirts hang here? But I don't have many, but I guess that's okay. I don't really, I don't really know what to do. In this closet now, which just has all of my like human clothes I guess you would call it like dresses and like nice shirts and then over here I have just like my shorts and my pants just because like I guess I don't really wear them on the daily basis you know what I mean I 
got it all organized. So I moved my t-shirts over here, which are just like, like I have an actual t-shirt obsession. Like I can fill up a whole closet space. And then I did workout stuff over here because it's underneath my leggings. And then this drawer has all my workout shorts and then a line, so like more everyday stuff. And then this drawer is like a hodgepodge. It's just the stuff I reach for every day. Like these are line bike shorts, my two energy bras, my line tank, um, like more of a, like a light support set active bra and then an ebb to street tank. Just the stuff I grab every day can kind of be in this drawer since I wear it so often. And then we've decided we're actually gonna take out these hangers just because they're just not very practical and we're gonna do more drawers. So when the time comes, we can like figure that out. But I think it just makes more sense to have this stuff here because it's the stuff I reach for more than like a dress that I maybe wear like once a week, you know what I mean? And then we didn't even use any of the hangers, but I guess they're good to have. I'm finally sitting down to eat a little late lunch. Matt and I started buying these chicken salad sliders from Costco. Highly recommend for on the go lunches. They're great little size. They routine lately has been updating my budget spreadsheet, which I will show you guys in an upcoming video. I just switched spreadsheets actually. And then um, kitchen stuff because obviously we bought more kitchen stuff today. So I have to update this spreadsheet and this one. <sighs> okay, I think it's time. We need to like let some fresh air in here and I do need to tidy up a little bit, which sucks because I hate cleaning. And if you guys are new here, I should have said this earlier. If you're not new, you know this by now. I am not a set routine gal, okay? I really have a Sunday routine. Today I'm filming a Monday reset, Monday whatever, getting my life together video, but it doesn't mean I do this every Monday. I actually don't usually because I honestly usually have my life together by Monday. It's just that this weekend, I did not get my life together. So I don't normally clean on the weekends. Sometimes we don't do groceries on Mondays. Like it just depends. I don't want anyone to watch this and be like, wow, she really has her shit together on Mondays because 90% of the time I just have a normal work day, but I really need to get my life together today. And I think today was a good day to do it because as you guys saw, like a lot just didn't go to plan. And I think what I'm learning in life is that you gotta learn to go with the flow and I actually have a massage later at five and I was so close to canceling it today. But something I really need to do is remember to prioritize myself. When things get busy, I kind of push myself on the back burner thinking I need to cancel the massage. I have so much to do, I have work. I could probably edit this video. Like I could just get so much more done, but I need to remember to put myself first. And I'm always telling you guys to do it, but I, I remember, but I need to remember to do it for myself. So I'm gonna walk up for my massage at five and I think that will be like a nice way to kind of wrap up the day, wrap up the productive go, go, go day with a nice massage to calm down and then I can walk home. It's only like a block or two. No, I live in the suburbs. There's no such thing as blocks. It's like about a kilometer walk. So I think it'll be really good to use that to wind down. But typically something we do on the weekends, but I'm just gonna do now is <laughs> clean our doors uh, because we have a lab who likes to boop everything. So typically, on the weekends, Matt and I try to have a cleaning morning and we divvy up the tasks. Matt vacuums, I wipe down, but um, usually we have to wipe down every door because Stella will boop it. I'll show you guys what I mean. So I'm going to do that and then I think I'm just going to open the place up, let some air in and I don't really know. I think a lot of people have like a set Monday reset when it comes to work and being a creator, sometimes they don't have any work to do on a Monday, right? Besides filming a video. And so I don't really have a set like Monday work routine either because today, for example, I didn't really have anything outstanding. I didn't have any calls. I didn't have any brand stuff to submit. I didn't have much to film other than this video. And so some Mondays, I don't even have really like a to-do list. So it just depends on the week. I know you guys know that, but I always like to tell new people that because every Monday is gonna look so different. And just cause I'm having a really productive day today doesn't mean next Monday is gonna be like that either. So that's also why I'm not sitting down at my computer a lot today is cause Mondays typically aren't crazy busy. A lot obviously doesn't come in over the weekend, maybe compared to another job field. So yeah, but I'll show you guys what I mean by booping the door. I need to find the right lighting. Oh, can you guys see it? Yeah, you can see it now. This dog loves to boop oh you can see it really good here so i'm just gonna wipe that down and then like open the place up and let some light in D this is exactly this is exactly what i mean ma'am i'm just trying to clean that i honestly sometimes don't know why i do this because it's about to be dirty in about six seconds but light this place up and get some fresh air going in here 
guys it is currently 4 20. i spent the last hour outside i feel like it's super important when you're even having a reset day to obviously spend time with yourself and also practice self-care and balancing resetting and relaxing so i just finished we'll always have summer i would think i was 70 percent done and then i started book lovers i'm like a decent way through and it's really cute so far and i made this broccoli carrot bacon cheese with hemp heart salad on it because i said this before but when the summer comes and the heat comes i just don't have a huge appetite i've always been like that and growing up my mom would always have like pasta salads and just like cold salads prepped in the fridge for us and it helped a lot my dad and i um would always appreciate it because my dad and i are the, kind of the same we both just don't have huge appetites so i decided to whip one up since it's starting to get warm out and i had that broccoli from today so while we don't meal prep our actual week we do meal prep small little things i guess yeah like we don't meal prep our dinners we don't plan out our dinners but we do meal prep small things like that so i'm gonna go ahead and put that into i guess somewhat of a container i don't have a lid so i don't really know what to do with it but I made that and then I also just vacuumed the main floor, not the carpet, but just the hardwood part. And then, yeah, so I'm gonna stick this in the fridge. Mm -hmm. 